Shall we solve our next level uh, children? Here is your next question. The question says 22 into 5 is equal to dash and your options are 100, option B 105, option C 110, option D 115. So, we shall multiply and see what is the right answer, okay. So, 22 into 5. So, 2 5s are 10, 1, 2 5s are 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So, what is your answer? It is 110. So, shall we do our next sum children? Here is your next question. The question says 9 into 400 is equals to dash and your options are 36, option B, 360, option C, 3600 and option D, 36000. Okay, so this follows the multiplication rule of tens and hundreds, right, where we will be adding the number of 0 towards the end of the answer. So, what is 9 into 4 children? Very good, 9 fours are 36, right? And how many zeros are here? Two zeros. So, which means that we will be adding two zeros behind the answer. So, what is my answer? Good, it is C3600. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay, the next question for you is dash into 5 is equals to 50. Okay, and your options are 5, option B is 10, option C is 15 and option D is 20. So, dash into 5 is equals to 50. Okay, so we will try to multiply with each number to see whether our answer is correct or not. So, 5 into 5, is it 50? No. 10 into 5, is it 50? 10 5s are 50, is it right? Yes. So, which means option B, 10 will be the right answer. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So, here is your next question. The question says, 9 into 9 is equal to dash. And the options given are 9. Option B, 18, option C, 81, and option D, 99. So, we know the table of 9, right? What is 9 into 9, children? 9 nines are? Very good. It is C, 81. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So, here is your next one. The next question says, 500 into 0 is equals to dash. And your options are A0, B50, C500, and D1. So, this is the first property of multiplication. Anything multiplied by 0 will give me? Very good, 0. So, which means option A0 is the right answer. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So, here is your next question. 7899 into 1 is equal to dash. Your options are 7900, option B 7899, option C 7898 and option D 7890. So, this talks about our second property of multiplication. Whenever you multiply anything by 1, the answer will be the number itself. So, 7899 multiplied by 1 is very good. It will be 7899. That is option B. Clear? So, I think you guys are finding it interesting to solve the sums. Shall we do some more? 